What's good guys, Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Laker basketball. I wanna to respond to this article I saw yesterday, reading it right now, talking about no young player in the young core is untouchable. Um, let's talk about this. Basically, we get these type of articles all the time in the off season, and it's insinuating you know, you, you, when you hear stuff like this, you think Lonzo could be traded, Brandon Ingram could be traded, Kuzma, and so forth. The problem is, when you look at the sources, there's no quote from Rod Palenka, there's no quote from Magic. Here's the truth, and I always respond to these things over the last two and a half years since I've been doing Laker Talk videos, I've never been wrong in this area. There is no way Lakers would trade Lonzo Ball right now, there's no way the Lakers would trade Brandon Ingram, in my opinion. You got guys who are, who are young on a contract around $7 million a year. You got Brandon Ingram gonna average between 16 and 20 this year. You got Lonzo who's gonna average 14 and he's doing everything else at pretty much an all-star level. What this is saying is, and what the truth of the matter is, you got guys who are not bona fide starters, uh, long-term guys like a Josh Hart, who might be open to trading. He's really good. And you got somebody like Kyle Kuzma, who everybody in LA loves. But when you, when you look at Kyle Kuzma's ceiling, he's essentially and above average six, he's a six man, uh, so to speak, until he learns to play the defense and Lakers see that in Kyle Kuzma, he possibly could be thrown out there. Or the Lakers will say this, I don't want to trade Kyle Kuzma. He's got $2 million, he's, he's getting paid what, $2 million a year? So that's not even reasonable to trade him at that level, at this moment. You would trade, you would think He's possibly, if you get a, all, a big all-star return like a Kawhi Leonard or someone, you might have to, you would throw him in there. But outside of that, nobody's getting traded for nobody. Um, at the end of the day, what basically, it's like, it doesn't even have to be an article about this, but if you got players who are out there uh, that teams are throwing out there and these are all-star guys, the Kawhi Leonard's, the, you know, I don't I'm not even gonna say Russell Westbrook, but you got like some big names that are being thrown out there, then you got guys who might be on the table. But at the end of the day, Lonzo isn't going anywhere and Brandon Ingram isn't going anywhere. There's no way. Who who are you gonna trade for him at seven million dollars a year that can give you what Brandon Ingram can give you and that can that's looking to score around 16, 20 points a game, making seven million dollars right now. It's impossible. So Lakers aren't trading any of the young core. And when, when I look at, when I think of like a Josh Hart and those guys, I don't see these guys as like young core, so to speak. I see like our first round picks, our first like number one and number two, number three, like the Lonzo, like the Brandon Ingham, those are the young core. Everybody else, you got filling guys uh, in, in a sense. And, and But Kyle Kuzma has stepped up to become a top leading uh, player on the Lakers, just like a um, Jordan Clarkson was. Whereas Jordan Clarkson wasn't your top first round pick, but he ended up playing so well that he was kind of put in that situation and earned a nice size contract. But at the end of the day, you got guys like that who can put up 15, 16, 17, 20 here and there, but they're not going to be, they're gonna be tradable down the road. And that's just, that's just a fact. Guys like Lonzo, guys like um, Brandon Ingram, those guys are special. You just don't go out and trade guys like that. So, like, uh, headlines like this is like, is almost clickbait, but at the end of the day, there's some young core guys in there that you can see that might be open to trade if there's somebody in return that's possible. But at the end of the day, there's, I mean, come on, man. We're not trading anybody right now. We're going in, like I said, and I said this several times, I tweeted about this months ago. We're going in this, looking to resign or looking to sign Paul George, and then possibly without no LeBron James, we're gonna resign Julius Randle. That's 
my thought process right now. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing. This is going to pull me out of vacation. You all see them start posting regularly now because these dumb articles like this. Hit me up, guys. We'll talk soon. Peace.